to ask the Scottish Government what its response is to reports that the MV Isle of Islay will be launched on the 16th of March 2024. Minister Fiona Hislop. The Scottish Government is pleased that work at the Kemery shipyard on all four vessels continues to progress well and that the MV Isle of Isle will be launched in March this year. I look forward to attending the official naming ceremony due to take place in Scotland later this year, which marks another major milestone in the vessel's construction. When the vessel is delivered in October this year, the communities of Isla and Jura can look forward to a more resilient and modern ferry service. Sandish Gohani. Well, the Turkish-built MV Isle of Isla is on time and on budget only two years after being ordered. I assume the First Minister will not be attending this launch with fanfare and fake windows as his predecessor did, but perhaps the Minister will be. Uh, conversely, the handling of the boats being built at the Clyde shipyard under this inept SNP government is utterly shambolic. Three times over budget, six years late and no launch date. This is a complete humiliation for the SNP government. Given the latest saga at Drossen further letting down islanders, will the Cabinet Secretary now take this opportunity to apologise to islanders for this ferry fiasco who have been let down, ignored, taken for granted and provide a guarantee that incompetence of the SNP Government's handling of the ferry fiasco will never be repeated? Minister. I think the Conservatives can acknowledge that there are going to be six vessels delivered supporting our islanders in, by 2026. Two billion pounds worth of investment in our ferry service and support for our island communities. Yes, there have been in challenges, but I, unlike un like Mr Gohani, will not insult the work of the Ferguson shipyard and their workers and the fact that they exist enable, enables them to be working Members. and completing these vessels. In terms of the issues facing islanders, I have spoken directly to them. Um, they know that the government's concern and have apologised directly to them for the difficulties that they face. But let's face forward, let's welcome those six new vessels and let's not use a positive story about the MV Isle of Isla coming to Scotland this year to be another hook for the Conservatives to bash Ferguson's shipyard and not listen to the islanders who want to see these ferries delivered six by two 2026. Briefly, Jackie Dunbar. Thank you, President Officer. This is an exciting prospect for islanders, along with the MV Loch Indel. This vessel represents an investment of over £90 million and is proof of the government's commitment to providing communities with a resilient, reliable ferry service. The new vessel Can I well please have a question, Ms Dunbar? Thank you. Could you please put your question, Ms Dunbar? Thank you, uh, President Officer. Sorry, I never quite heard you for the children. Um, so does the Minister share my view that while it's all very well to play politics, this news and progress in all vessels to improve services for our island communities is something we should all welcome? Minister. I agree. I think islanders don't want politics played. They want the vessels delivered. And the MV Isle of Isla and the MV Loch Indal will deliver increased capacity and added resilience, which will benefit both islanders and also businesses. We're investing in replacement vessels across the network, and I look forward to welcoming the six new vessels to the fleet by 2026.